so an interesting article um, basically to read here because this is quite hilarious because I already called this uh, a couple of weeks ago that over at Infowars they have made this unbelievable 360 turn to oh the president's fucking awesome we love the government now <laughs> so I was like wait what <laughs> so and I'm not the only one thank god that can at least see this there are actually people within Jones organizations who do seem quite upset about this as well so the article begins, depending on who you talk to, Kurt, Kurt Min, Minow, a former editor for Infowars, left the conspiracy peddling website after being demonstrably a lazy staffer. Or he was fired for a sudden and acrimonious manner by the site's red-faced majordomo, Alex Jones. But the real story, whatever it is, is only slightly less muddy than the fever swamps through which uh, writers trudge each day to deliver stories about Lady Gaga's satanic Super Bowl performance and the immediate and the intimate assassination of President Trump. Nemo told the Daily Beast that this week uh, that he, the week that he joined Infowars in 2008 and rebuilt the website. He left the publication in July of 2016 and has since been working for Newsbud, a site run by conspiracy-minded whistleblower Sybil Edmonds. Nibon also periodically writes for his own blog entitled Another Day in the Empire. Since his exit, Nibon has also noticed the general framework and voice of the site shift into considerably becoming a pro-Trump propaganda outfit. Oh, <laughs> what have we been saying on other people have been saying? Because... Infowars is where Trump gets his news from and his opinions from. It's terrifying. It really is. Um, yeah, something that he perceives as a abandonment of Infowars' initial focus on the New World Order, or as Jones would call it, the establishment. He goes... I disagree with Alex Jones and Donald Trump, Nemo said in an email to the Daily Beast. I believe Donald Trump is an enabler of crony capitalism, same as his predecessor. I also believe he will not end the war started by Bush and continued by Obama. I cannot support a man who will, who will further war and murder. Alex Jones has more or less ignored this and considers Trump a patriot and a defender of the Constitution. This is clearly wrong. Jones... Uh, Jones' turn as an anguished, chest-thumping uh, aide to the president's ego has been well documented in the 2016 election. Trump has even appeared on Infowars for an interview with Jones and praised the rage-filled radio host reporter's reputation as amazing. And even now, after it made it to the highest office in the land, Trump's longtime friend and former advisor, Roger Stone, uh, Often hosts into info wars and credits it in part, in part for helping Trump make it to the Oval Office. Nemo doesn't see Trump fandom as an asset in any sense, but rather a tactical endorsement of war crimes. He speculates that this is that this disagreement with the Trump agenda could have contributed to his axing. Which again doesn't surprise me because if you look at what has happened to a lot of former co-host for Alex Jones uh, if they've disagreed with him in any point um, oh what was his name Jack Blood I believe it was who disagreed with Alex um, back in the sort of 2004 2005 you can still find his you know Alex Jones raging against the man and then you can see his comeback to it and it's again I'm more like to believe um him than certainly Jones in that situation. Um, support for Trump also means supporting waterboarding, killing of their families and suspected terrorists, squandering trillions of more on a bloated military supporting Israel despite its crimes against humanity, out inside Saudi Arabia uh, from the list of terrorist states and further militarizing the police in the US. Nimmo told the Daily Beast that Alex Jones is previously openly most uh, was previously opposed to most of these things, with the exception of Israel. 
which he has refused to criticise. He pointedly specific... Uh, you know why, don't you? Well, as I've said before, Jones is a slave to his audience. And originally, Alex Jones was not a birther. But his audience believed um, him to be... Uh, believed in the conspiracy theory. And then started to berate Jones. So Jones got stared and just went, yeah, I'm a birther now. That's true. It's what happened. It was... Immediate flip, exactly like this. Um, yep, yeah, he specifically pointed to the fact that Infowars has not commented on a recent raid in Yemen that reportedly killed an eight year old and other civilians. There is one recent article on the site that condemns the Obama administration and may have had something to do with the tipping off of Al Qaeda about the ensuing raid. <laughs> So, basically accusing Obama of treason by tipping off Al-Qaeda. <sighs> Again, their evidence for this is what, exactly? The unconditional Trump love is not all coming from one source, though. Nemo uh, has taken issue with the content produced by Paul Joseph Watson. Ah, don't worry, we'll be taking a look further into this and doing another video on this, because it's... Help quite again, it's a topic worth going into. The stubble faced British video blogger and writer, um, writer for the site who goes by at Prison Planet on Twitter. During the 2016 election, Watson published stories about the untrue allegations that Hillary Clinton had brain damage and that he'd become a favorite of the alt right for his popular videos declaring that Islam is not a religion of peace. He has also recently uh, was also recently duped into publishing a false story about the imminent release of a video showing Trump saying the N word. If you are going to judge Paul Jovis watching by his editorial and tweets, he is an Islamophobe, little different from Gert Wilders or Pamela Geller, Nimo said, uh, referring to the Dutch politician and the Twitter who both share anti-Islam statements. He has embraced the alt-right philosophy on Islam. I, Islam. I disagree with this. The United States government and military-industrial complex are far more threatening to our liberty than a gaggle of crazed Islamists who may be supported by the CIA and Saudi Arabia. <laughs> so, um, while they've rarely worked on the same physical space, ironically, Nemo credits Watson for being the person who got him his job at Infowars. So, I'll leave a link down below, but essentially the rest of the article goes on to um, Watson accused him of being a lazy staffer and that who did nothing. Now, he, uh, Kurtz does present an email to the reporter that discredits all this, but what's interesting here is the fact that there is a alt-right spin to Paul Jones Watson. Now, I have on and off been covering Watson, and as I've proclaimed quite loudly at times, Watson is the worst non-journalist I have ever even heard of. Remember, this is the guy who once said that uh, there were going to be bombs placed in the 2012 Olympics and that they were going to go off tomorrow, and, you know, he was going to be watching, expecting to see the explosions, saying, ha ha, I told you so. And then when the Olympics ended, he went, right, yeah, um, I, it, was, it was because we published these articles, that's why the bombs didn't go off. Yeah, and he's, he's an idiot. He really is. Um, again, he used to live, um, I don't know if he still does, uh, I think he doesn't anymore, I think he's in London, London based now, but he used to live uh, in Sheffield. And that was only a stone's throw away from me, and I can't. I don't think I did, but I once sent him an email challenging him to a debate, which I never got any response to. But again, this guy, um, he is exactly like Jones. If he sees that a target audience, he thinks he can uh, milk and get attention from, he'll go after it. This is why he's gone to the alt-right side now and has really really been pushing a lot of Islamophobia and it's it's quite weird because at, at one time uh, again just to note the big huge contradictions Watson used to write 
uh, when the like the wars were going on in the Middle East, he used to write about how Muslims were uh, the scapegoat uh, for the Obama administration, and that all this terrorism um, was being blamed on Muslims. And now, boom, 360 turn. Yeah, it's all the Muslims' fault. It's their fault. They're the biggest threat to the West ever. Um, yeah. It's just like... The Infowars is simply the worst website to ever go and get your news from. And Jones has recently been branded as fake news, which is good because that's what he is. He's been doing this for years. He has never ever ever once actually broken a real news story despite his claims to the otherwise and the fact that trump is a counted amongst his readers and you know readership should be incredibly worrying to you because this is where trump can get his world view from and it's quite you know worrying there was a a the last week tonight with John Oliver went into this and they and they counted from the time an article was published on Infowars to the time that Trump was tweeting about it and it's it's unbelievable that someone who has the power and in such a powerful office as the President of the United States listens to that as a genuine news outlet and makes it, forms his opinions from that outlet. That should be incredibly worrying to you. But, you know, that's the world we live in.